Okay, hello, Anson Garcia with Verizon. I'm going to go over real quick the basics overview, basics and overview of Microsoft Teams on an iPhone. So let's take a look. What you see on your screen is once I go in my application right here, Microsoft Teams. I'm right here on More. Let me get this up here so you can see that. I'm right here on More. There is also your availability, so your presence right here in the middle. Available, busy, do not disturb, and away. And obviously it would go into away mode uh, if you set your phone down for a little while. And then I have saved conversations. So these are uh, conversations that I've saved before. So you have this concept in Microsoft Teams of saving a conversation. If I have some documentation or someone gave me some IP addresses or some important information, I can save that conversation it will be in my saved I have my activity so this is activity that includes me this is what I've done with the things that I have sent and things like that and then I have settings so setting under settings probably uh, the most important one is probably um, notifications so notifications for uh, chats mentioned replies likes other alerts and then I like this one down here only when I'm not active on the desktop so I can get alerts on my um, iOS device or iPhone device or mobile device if uh, the system senses I'm not active on my desktop only so I don't have um, you know I won't be behind my desk desktop getting notifications from my desktop and getting notifi notifications from my iPhone it's right next to me alright so I'll just let you see options so you can see what's there and I'm gonna let you see about so you can see what version alright and let's go back and we're gonna go let's go to um, let's just go from right to left here so we did more we'll look at teams so this is where our teams are this is where our teams and our channels under our teams are I also have recent here okay and uh, I can go to each particular channel just by clicking on the channel very easy so it's very desktop like there and I can look at all items here. This is kind of neat. If I look at all my uh, all items and all my favorite teams here, I can go to that favorite team and I'll see what channels are underneath it there. Okay, uh, nothing you know too fantastic there or out of the ordinary. I have then chats. Here's my one-to-one -one chats. Okay, so that's where that's going to be. And then I have alerts. My alerts. Um, or I kind of had a little hard time understanding what alerts were, but uh, alerts are um, uh, things like at mentions or replies to something I posted or likes. You have this concept of kind of like social media, um, like in YouTube or, or uh, Facebook, where you can uh, someone you can cl uh, you can um, uh, post something and someone can like it. So you'll get those. Uh, those will be in your alerts so that's where you'll go for that um, I mistakenly I think I said during the last video or one of the other desktop videos that alerts were where your latest conversations were that you missed in in, in your channels and that's not true so again alerts are uh, only things that uh, you get at mentioned uh, in a particular um, uh, thread or channel or you get a reply to something uh, because Microsoft Teams has this concept of threaded conversations. Uh, you get a reply or you get a uh, like or reply or something um, uh, something like that. So that's it. And then we have a search button up here so we can uh, definitely search uh, for things. Let's go back to chat. We have our search up there too. You see up in the upper right we have a uh, new chat if you want to start a new chat and also in our teams we have that ability to search as well so that's it and uh, hopefully that's been helpful to you let's take a look at Cisco Spark on an iOS device I just went into the Spark application right here we're going to go left to right again along the bottom I'm at me right here let me turn this on here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm at me, and you can see that uh, I have a, a picture there that I can have. It's got my email address, 
um, I can also edit my avatar there okay and I have a do not disturb so I can turn that on if I, ne I needed to uh, shut off any notifications and um, let's see what I got in notifications here we can do let me move that out of the way we have all messages at mentions only and off this is something that's vastly different between Microsoft Teams and, um, and notifications on Cisco Spark so in Microsoft Teams it really only notifies you uh, vi visually or excuse me uh, an audible alert uh, when you get at mentions you know out of the box anyway uh, with uh, Cisco it was all messages before I had to turn it off because it was just uh, it was too much for me okay so we have notifications there we have support and we have about and I want to do that about Okay, there we go. So that's about. I wanted you guys to see about so you can see what version I'm running. So in case you're looking at this uh, a few months from now, uh, things do change pretty rapidly. And then we have advanced over here. We got proximity features that are built into Spark. Uh, if you don't know what proximity is, I have a uh, video on that. Um, uh, it's the one on like UCAS is easy or something like that. If you search around for it on my YouTube channel, you'll you'll see what you, uh, proximity is all about. Share your status. Um, okay, so that's within your organization, and then send call reports automatically. We don't want that. I don't meeting calendars, and then we have all the calendars that it's looking at, and then uh, archive teams if we've archived any teams. Okay, so let's take a look at meetings now. So it looks like I got you know something is pulling from my Outlook calendar there uh, so those are my meetings and then I got call so this is where my call is this is where all my calls have, have, have happened here and then I also have a dial button here that's different than what we had in the Microsoft Teams obviously so I can dial there and then I have my team so this is where my panels of, 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 uh, of all my teams come up and then I can go to each one of those teams and then um, go to the spaces within those teams and I have details up here that I can look at details within that team and uh, I can look at the team itself you know things that are going on in the team and um, let's see what else here let's go back one more nothing else there we can create a team up here on the right so if we wanted to create a team we could do that there okay and then we have messages so here are all our messages these are our unread messages and I can pull that down and I can do all my messages um, unread people this is a one-to-one -one chat you know here uh, my favorites if I've marked any um, uh, particular messages favorites um, and then my at mentions and then anything I flagged I can also flag have this concept of flagging um, particular messages um, and they will those will show up um, here um, okay and that is it for Cisco spark overview